Good morning, Harding Middle School. I'm Kara. It's Friday, November 19th, 2021. It's National Monopoly Day. And I'm Kara. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Here are the Harding headlines. Gold ticket drawing, Be That Person Challenge, basketball, Harding Book Club, Ski Club, Traditions, and Shoutouts. We are pleased to be joined now by Ms. Patton to pull golden tickets. Take it away, Ms. Patton. Thank you. All right, I am here for our weekly gold ticket drawing. So students, when you hear your name, please come down to my office. Peyton Crudy, Lane Sheehan, Sophia Revy, Savannah Sullivan, Jacob Doris, Angelina Robinson, Dylan Wynn, James Boss, Gabriella Surio, Oldreen Bainey, Lily Zernich, and Ethan Edwards. Congratulations, students. Back to the anchors. We are now happy to be joined now by Cece to share important information about Be That Person Challenge. Take it away, Cece. Today is the final day of the 3-3 challenge. Be sure to continue complimenting people today. Thank you to all those who stepped up this week to be that person. And look for another challenge to start the week after next, the positive purple and yummy yellow challenge. Back to the anchors. Here's the update on the basketball games from yesterday. The boys picked up two wins on the road. Seventh grade, wall up Shiloh, 57 to 36 to 38. We have we had a couple of hot hands. Roy Roy had 18 and Tyrese had 14 points. Peter sealed the deer. How did eighth grade do? The eighth grade also dominated. They won 61 to 23. Charlie and Dean both had 15 points. Musa sealed the deal. Go Rangers! Attention Harding Book Club members. Harding Book Club meets today in the LOC at 3 p.m. Check the Google Classroom for more details. Who's ready to hit the slopes? Miss Backwoods and Mr. Hudock show up. If you're interested in joining Herding Ski Club and Snowboard Club, join our Google Classroom for information. The code is on a few posters there at the building, or stop by the LOC for it. Immediate action is needed. Please see Ms. Backwoods in room 103 or Mr. Hudock in room 315 if you have any questions. Attention tradition mentors. Have you read your emails lately? Please read the email from Mr. Altman, connect with your sixth grade mentee, and reply back to Mr. Altman. Your mentorship makes Harding a better place. Read those emails. Here are this morning's student shout outs. To L.A. Pickley for her positive attitude and hardworking ways in, in and out of the classroom. For Miss Franks. To Max Namarva for a great participation in Weekly Writers Club. For Miss Howard. To Juliet Winterfox for offering great ideas in Writers Club. For Miss Howard. To Max Pre P for always giving 100% in class when helping his group members stay positive when they're stressed out from Ms. Kilgore. Here's today's staff shout out. Uh, to Ms. Robert, Robertson, thank you for always having a positive can-do attitude. We appreciate all your support. From Ms. Prewitt and Ms. and Ms. Potinger. A reminder to keep those shout outs coming as they occur to you. It's always right to compliment someone. You can fill out a shout out card in the LRC. Now here's a look at today's walk home weather with Olivia in our Joey Asa Weather Center. What are you learning in Ms. Connolly's class? The different we are learning about the different types of government. Today's walk on weather will be forty degrees for night with snow showers and winds at twenty miles per hour. Fun fact, a snail can sleep for three hours. Back to the anchors. Celebrating a birthday today is Carly Vanji. Celebrating a birthday this weekend is Gena is Gena A, Carl Carlos C, Liam S, Lauren L, 
and Paisley and now let's kick it over to Sam for On This Tan History. Take it away, Sam. Salutations Warren Hodges Education Center. On this day in history in nineteen in eighteen sixty three, President Abraham Lincoln addresses the Gettysburg Address. This is important because Lincoln honored the dead who gave their lives so that the Union could, would stand. Fun fact about this speech. Most people think it was a long speech, but it was actually very short. Fewer than 275 words. Back to the Yankers. Now here's the comedy team of Allie and Maddie in our Laughmatic Grown Center 5000. Take it away, Joker. Hello, Harding. Why did the girl smear peanut butter on the road? I don't know. I don't know. Why would she smear peanut butter on the road? To go with the traffic jam. Now that's a real news slapper. Back to the Yankers. This concludes your morning announcements. Make, Make it a day, day green, green. green.